very welcome back to r and We're out in the kitchen now this morning and how would you like a tasty treat that has no sugar or no butter but tastes fabulous? Sounds good? Well, <laughs> Susan Jane White is here this morning to show us how to make this beautiful treat. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm so excited that I'm going to, be, going to introduce you to this pomegranate what? fudge. Pome pomegranate fudge. Yes. Tasting gorgeous, but no sugar and no butter. And no butter, and it's really easy to make. It is dead cheap. I got okay. everything here in Tesco. All right. And it is outrageously tasty. So Fabulous. I want to give you a slice before um, before you salivate over it anymore. <laughs> oh, then, you know, let's let's taste it. Let's see how we cook it first. All right. All right. And then, oh look at That's that. That's lovely. Have some. Yeah. I feel like having some myself, but then I won't be able to talk while I'm cooking. So yeah. I'll let we'll you do the. I'll okay. Let you we'll do the we'll save it. We'll save it for uh, for when we finish, and we'll have a, a nice right. cup of tea with. Okay. Great, great, great. <laughs> what, how do you start? How do you make it? So I've turned on on a very, very low heat. I'm just heating up um, a little bit of coconut oil instead of butter. So that's what it's like solid at room temperature. Right. Um, and we want to we want to melt it. Smell so that's, is beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's very exotic. Mm -hmm. So um, I have the coconut oil there. And what we want to do is we want to add a teeny bit of vanilla extract to the party. There he is. Now that's, that's a little too hot for now. And a bit of maple syrup in there as well to cool it down. Now I have a confession, that was way too hot. Okay. <laughs> it should be on a much lower, lower heat. Lower heat than that, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so now that we have um, both of that gorgeous glossy syrup, we're gonna add tahini, and this is the secret ingredient. So but tahini, does tahini not have sugar in it? And is tahini no, a it's, natural sugar? It? No, not even. Oh, is, right. So it's 100% pure sesame seed, that's all it is. Okay. Yeah, 100% pure sesame seed. So um, think, let me see, think B vitamins for B for body. So Okay, so you're full, just stirring. Just Stirring this. it, and that's it. That is basically it. So you're just so, like, li literally up to the camera there. There we go. So you're just stirring that around. Stirring it all in, and you can see it's getting a little bit thicker. Yeah. And sumptuous and creamy, the way we like our fudge. Now look, can you see how thick it, that's got? Already, it's yeah. It's pretty amazing. Now, and what goes really well also is a little touch of sea salt. Now, so that's it. We're done. Is that about it? And that's so it. You just that's put your pomegranates easy. in. Now, there. I'm going to put pomegranate seeds because they're great for it. They're anti inflammatory for the body. So, like any type Take of fruit you like, really chopped up finely, could go yeah, into this. Anything. Great idea. So strawberries or different Stra things. Strawberries are a wonderful idea. I didn't mm. do that, but I'll, I'll try that later. Um, we've got pomegranate today because it's very posh and it's, it looks very fancy. Yeah. Um, and when, they free, when they're frozen, they go pink and it's gorgeous, beautiful color and mm -hmm. makes it look like there's rose petals through it. It's really gorgeous. So I just want to show you what a pomegranate looks like when it's cut open. Here it is here. Look at all those seeds. Wow. It's extraordinary. Look at that. And you can get them in Aldi or Lidl for one euro. Um, and supermarkets like Tesco always stock them as mm -hmm. well. And you can sprinkle them on porridge, on salads. They, super make, they kind of soak up anything that you're making. So it, what you've made here is for this. But you, obviously you can, if you like it, you can make a big dish of it. You could. And keep it in the freezer like and keep thinking. it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Once it's kept in the freezer, anytime you have a sugar craving, you just reach into the freezer and you have an instant snack that has has no sugar. Sounds no good white to sugar. me. Exactly. So we're going to pour it in this. I've just lined an average dish with some cling film. That's it. Um, you can use Tupperware. You can use whatever you have at home. Lunch boxes. A little more on the top. A little more on top like that. Now I just pick those seeds out once you have them from yeah from the pomegranate you itself can just, yeah. you can just break it up and, and do it pretty quickly yourself. You see yeah. look it's, it's not hard at all. Stick that in the freezer. Straight away. Yeah. And it comes out like this. How long do you leave it in for? Obviously, you'll know. Four hours. Not. Four hours. Yeah, yeah, but I'm going to join you. <laughs> and, then just, and then just leave it in there. And let, let, let's have a little taste. Mm. See how creamy it is? It's quite extraordinary. Who would have thought? I'm terribly virtuous. And since today is the first day of Lent, we're going to be eating this an awful lot. It's like eating, mm. it's like just taking like a lovely ice cream out of the mm. fridge and just having it. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's have a quick chat about your book. Oh, thank you. No, oh, okay. Your book is the. The, the, there we go, the extra virgin kitchen. <laughs> Why call it the extra virgin, extra virgin oil, extra mm. virgin? Well, I thought it was sort of pure, healthy, unadulterated food. But the truth is, the next time I do a book, Alan, I'm not going to have the word virgin in the title. 
I get about 25 emails every day from escort agencies in Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> Unseen side effects. That's, that's, but that's a different. That's a different side to you that we're, that we're not talking about this morning. So it was extra the healthy ex, food. The extra virgin kitchen, and I like the fact that it has wheat-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free eating in it. Recipes for that, like this. So. Good, good um, nutritious stuff, but also exactly. absolutely fabulous to taste. Thank you very much for coming and well, joining us this morning. Such a um, pleasure. Susan Jane White there. We're going to take a quick break. We'll see you in a few minutes.